is going on guys 223 Frank the Tank here with improved audio yes I finally figured out a way to change the audio settings so it doesn't sound like I'm talking through a tin can all the time so <clears throat> without further ado today I'm gonna be checking out the USS Mount Hood made by Rutin Tutin Cowboy I think I've already done one of his creations you do need to make a mission to spawn it uh, well, when you download it, it's his mission, but you have to alter it if you want to put it on the multiplayer island. So let's hop aboard and check out this big, big boat. So, oh, I don't know how I injured myself by jumping in water. Interesting. So this thing is massive. So let's go up on the deck over here. So you've got one wire, I guess that you have to, um, if you're playing as a tail hook, it's got to grab onto that connector. So you've only got one wire, so no mistakes allowed. And uh, it's quite interesting because it's got the hull of a regular ship up front, but it's got this carrier deck. So pretty interesting stuff. I think these are working elevators over here. This is my first time checking this uh, this ship out, so I'm not really sure exactly. So I'll look, check it out. It's awesome. So there we go. You can bring your your planes in and out, inside and out of the deck. Let's go back up now. Really awesome. We'll check it out down there a little bit later. We want to check out the top sections first. We'll continue walking along the deck. So you've got obviously your blast shield over here for your catapult. I'm not really sure if the catapult works or not, how you'd hook up to it. Hmm. Interesting stuff, I have to say. And here's where it gets kind of interesting. Is um the front of the ship is as I said earlier, it's a regular hull. You can hear something whirring away down there. See? Isn't that interesting looking? You've got a regular ship's hull up front with the carrier deck kind of just slapped on top. It's definitely very interesting. And these are missile systems over here. So let's enter through this front door over here. See what that brings us into. I think that's another outside door. Yes, it is. Alright. First door here. Seems to be... Oh, an elevator. Okay. Okay, it is for small vehicles. So this brings you... Th th this would probably be for um, for loading. Armor... Armor... Ah. Armament. Yep. So you drive like your little... Your little buggy in there, vehicle door. You could drive the weapons up here. So there's the elevators here. Pretty awesome. Let's see. Oh, you could fold them as well. Oh, this is really interesting. So you could close off your hangar. So if you've got bad weather, you could fold those elevators. Wow, that's awesome. See what that looks like from the outside. Wow, super cool. Very, 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 very nicely done. So let's uh, get rid of all these lights and uh, put the elevators back in. Okay, your little logic hidden nicely. Just very nicely made. Ooh, if I could get up here. That's quite interesting. Come on. So instead of using regular floor, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get up here. But anyways, instead of using regular floor, he uh, he used um, what are these? Uh, railings to make a kind of uh, walkway, a grid walkway kind of look to it. Looks pretty awesome. Let's take the elevator back up and uh, keep checking it out. So that door just goes back onto the deck. So let's continue down here. Okay, 
get the med bay, obviously, by the little cross sign. More doors to the outside. It's another door outside. Passageway lights. Let's get those on. There's different decorations all around. Okay, that's where we came in from. Oh, there we go. So this is where we couldn't go earlier because ladders are tricky. So I see, just really tight. But there doesn't seem to be anything else to look at down here. So we'll just go back. And uh, yeah, that's about it for that. We got this little back room here. What's this? I don't know if these do anything. This might just be for decoration. Come on. Okay, up here. Cool. <laughs> we got different vending machines. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see what's in this room. Alright, this is your briefing room. Awesome. Cool stuff. Lights. Got a little computer here. Oh, she doesn't. Okay, this is a radio station. Really nice. A guy we trust. All together. All of us we track. Okay, so this is obviously a radar station. Okay. Wow. Anti ship missile system. Really cool stuff. Ooh. Got your radars here. Awesome stuff. I love the detail. Air search reader. Oh my god. Look at that. That's just so cool. Might have to fire off those missiles in a bit after we're out to sea. Target tracking. Radio tracking. This is awesome. Hopefully, one day when we have like some dedicated servers to really do some really cool missions for a ship like this so let's go up through here it's a little vultures nest area a little hangout area watch the flight ops from here or really from up there really that's why i guess vulture row would be get your your cannon over here obviously isn't real let's take the next staircase up through here Okay, so we got the bridge. If I can get up here. There we go. Cool stuff, very minimal. You've got your start engine. gonna do that just yet because um, I have to check the outside because I think we spawned right in front of rocks which was my fault so we've got our watching area I guess this would be vultures row to watch it in all these little areas cool little carrier really nice complex uh, tower I love seeing these well designed well thought out looks really good I think this was a even okay so here's your this sort of fun happens this is the <laughs> this is your uh, this is your your air boss tower this is where all the business goes on. There's your catapult launch. Drone does not reset. Press launch button once. I don't want to mess up anything that I don't know what I'm doing, so. There's air search and weather. Awesome. All right, let's go back down here into the bridge and we'll get her started. But firstly, I'm going to just check and make sure we're going to clear these rocks up ahead. Yeah, we should be fine. Clear the weather as well. 
I guess we don't have any fog, it just looks like it. So. Should get moving. Yep. How close that is. And there's a little formation up ahead I should kind of be careful about. character has been floating around like that see how she turns not super fast as you'd expect those are the insides that you're not supposed to see Cause there's not much in here obviously the focus of a ship like this is up top but yeah look it's so big I can't even zoom all the way and see the whole thing but we're going a solid 13 knots I even think the engine's fully started properly I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it should be going a little bit faster. Maybe I'm gonna blow the engine doing this. <laughs> really pumping it to turbo drive. But it, it is really tough to make a ship fast in, in this game, I'd say. Let's see. Slowly going up. Yeah, there's got to be a way to make it faster because we're crawling right now. Let's, uh, let's go outside. I kind of admire how big this thing is. Oh, I can't jump right now. Kind of glitched. Cursed, my game is cursed. Let's go back through. See, right now I'm crouching. <laughs> that's not what you see, and that's not what I see. It's a weird glitch, honestly. Yep. So uh, let's try this missile system over here. I'm curious as to what that's gonna be like. If I could remember how to get there, up the stairs. Nope, the stairs aren't that way. Stairs over here. All right, so let's try it out. Oh, I can't because I'm glitched. Come on. Why you do this? Why? That's such a disappointment. <laughs> I 
And now I can't get back up to the to the actual bridge. Unless there's a ladder out here, but I doubt it. Because that would look a little silly. If anybody knows the fix for this weird glitch where your care Oh, there we go. Oh, oh we got a ladder here. Awesome. Perfect. As long as we can get up here, we're solid. And there we go. That's such a weird glitch right here. But it doesn't matter because as long as we get to that room that I want to go to. Alright, so. Um, where's my screens at? Why am I not showing anything? This is a little concerning. Oh, I guess I should have turned this this on. Dude, dude. Oh, that's so weird. It looks like the camera's broke or something. Really weird. All right. Well, that's not working anymore for some reason, and I can't get up here. Ah, it's killing me. All right, let's try going in here. Oh, my God. Absolutely crawling. Alright, I messed something up, obviously. We're not really moving at all. But, um, at least I got to show you guys around the ship a bit. And, uh, uh I guess one last thing I can do is I could try landing an F 14 on here. So. Let's try to get her up to speed again. Let's get our landing lights on. I don't know what happened. It seems like everything like shut down on this thing. It's not, maybe it's not producing enough power or something. Really, really weird. It told me to hold until up is at 0.5 and I kept holding it. So maybe I messed it up. Yeah, so we'll keep that going. We'll travel up to here. A little finger crack. Let's open these doors. There's a button somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's get some lights on in here too. And I'll see if this 14 has the proper tail hook with the little magnet on the bottom. Da, da, da. F14, where are you at? Where are you at, boy? There it is. Yes, it does. All right, spawn it in. I really like using this one because uh, the controls for it are like it is pretty smooth compared to the other planes I've flown. I'm have to turn it to solo mode so that we could fly without a Rio. Oh man, nothing is going right. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get this thing started. There we go. 
think I'm a little bit glitched. There's my landing gear spazzing out a bit. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, so unsmooth. There's the carrier. I'm gonna just put the hook down. <laughs> Where's my hook? This is the F 14 I'm used to. Tell me the Rio controls the hook in this in this version. And we're stalling. Oh boy. Nothing works out today. Uh, I mean can you blame me? Flying planes of stormers is just stupid. like no control whatsoever I really hope they make flying a little bit better in this game because right now is the only thing that kind of sucks helicopters okay but jets and planes kind of suck in this game I think the problem is that the controls are sticky. Ah, oh, screw this shit, I'm about to crash anyways, yep. Alright, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, thanks for watching my complete failure. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.